Hey guys, today I'm going to do a DIY and I'm going to show you how you can make your own heel condom. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds weird. It's basically what you have is your heel and then you have like a cover over the top and it could have a strap attached to it or a flower or like spikes or anything. But I really don't like walking in shoes or heels that haven't got straps on. And this this pair of heels that I bought for my prom last year, they don't have any straps on. And that's why I haven't worn them since. And after seeing the heel condoms everywhere, I was like, I have to make them. Because I can't afford to buy one that much. So I was looking around and I saw there were no tutorials maybe like one but it was a bit naff so I was like hmm I think I have to make it off myself so what I've done is I've done like a mini prototype one and I'm going to show you what it looks like without straps and then I'm going to make another one for you guys to see how I do it and it's going to have straps on so basically just looks like this and like comes up the edge and when it when you have straps um it'll basically like pull it up more but if you don't want a straps one you like make two of these so that it goes sits inside and your foot stops it from falling down so what you want is some material this is just lining material so it's quite thin and slippery but um if you just want to make the pattern, then maybe use a cotton that's thicker, so it won't move around. You also want... You can use elastic bands, but I don't think that'd be as secure. So I've got a really thin hairband, and it's in a bright colour, so that you can see the difference between the shoe, the hairband, and the white fabric that I'm using. So you want a hairband and you also want your sewing machine and on your sewing machine you want to have a zip foot and you want to have a normal foot as well and I'll tell you, well I'll show you when we can when you want to use the zip foot and the normal foot so yeah that's it and I'll just show you how to do the next bit then okay so what you want to do first is you want to get your fabric and line it up on the shoe so to make it easier you want to cut any straggly bits off so you want to put it where the center line is on your shoe And it's, if it's easier, just put a bit of sellotape or masking tape in place to like help it stay there. So what we're doing now is we're going to make the pattern. What you also want is a pen. It's going to help you mark out your pattern. So you want to pull it tight. And just find where your heel comes up. So this is the heel. You want to find this end area here. And just like draw a line up from that. Like that. Make sure that it's still quite tight. If it's not then you can just keep drawing lines but it doesn't matter so much on this because it's just your pattern anyway so it's quite fiddly to show you guys so this is pulled tight so we just want to draw along this top here where the edge is the top of the shoe so 
so I've just drawn along here and then keeping it tight in your hand smoothing it down so it's not creased you want to hold on to the top and hold on to the bottom and then feel where the bottom of the heel is top of the heel on the bottom of your shoe rather and you want to draw along there and now it can be really rough because we're going to be adding seam allowance so if you feel like your um, outlines are, are maybe not very accurate then you can add a bit more seam allowance to make sure that it's going to be okay so that's that you can take it off your shoe and then you want to cut this shape out so then you will get this which is the pattern piece which just sit like that on your shoe so then you take your pattern piece and place it on to your fabric place it onto your fabric and cut around it leaving centimetre around the edges I'm only going to leave a centimetre but if you want you can leave one two one and a half it's up to you how much you want to leave okay so now I've got them cut out I've got two pieces and it's time to sew them up so you want to work out which bit is your um, centre line. So it's going to be the curved bits. Like this. So it'll be like that. So you want to sew them. like this together so I'm just gonna get my machine put my normal foot on and sew these two pieces Everything is falling. So, sewn it up like that. So it opens out. And that's the knee edge. Which will sit like that on our shoe. Now the next bit, you can either work out the straps or sew in the elastic. Uh, I think I'm going to show you the, s the straps first because you either want to work out the straps before you turn in the top because then you just have a neater edge when you do your straps it would just look neater at the moment it's looking quite big because of the seam allowance so I'm just going to get an extra bit of fabric and decide on how long I want my straps to be so I'm just going to do this and I think the length of this material will be perfect for the length of the straps for me. So I just want two of those. And you can base it 
on whatever width you like. But you have to bear in mind that you will be um, having to add seam allowance to neaten the edges. So mine is about um, just over an inch, I'd say maybe almost an inch and a half, two inches wide. So that's what mine is going to be. So I've got my two straps. I'm going to... Oh, sorry, you can't see. I'm going to attach them to the top of the shoe. So I'm going to take this part and attach it like this. So it's good side to good side. So that when you open it up, you don't see the stitching. So when you open it up, it will be neat. It will be a nice, neat edge. And if you sew from the edge of the, um, the top of the shoe cover, then there's enough space for you to turn in the rest of it. So that it all looks neat together. Like that. So I'm going to sew that down. I want to just make sure I've got it in the right place first. I've got my strap where I want it to be. Yep. Obviously, I'm going to do the same on the other side with the other strap. Make sure they're in the exact same place. So, you fold it in half, fold it in half, and just match up where the strap starts and where the strap ends so that you can place the other one exactly there. So we've got our two straps like this. I'm just going to place it over my shoe. Like that. So they're my straps. And now I'll show you the elastic which will be going over the top like this. I'm pulling it all in. So what we want to do first is change your foot on your machine. So you'll take this foot off and you want to go for the zipper foot. Because the elastic gets in the way and it means that you're feed underneath won't move because the foot is stopping the elastic from moving so you just want to do this and fold the elastic in it's just like a little case for the elastic the elastics inside here like that but don't sew onto the elastic the elastic has to move which is why if you're using a zipper foot it's easier to sew next to the elastic and not onto the elastic. Now I'm just doing a straight stitch. I don't think you really need a zigzag stitch. It's not going to be under that much pressure. You just want to do it a bit carefully so that it elastic is stretched around the fabric and 
do it evenly. Okay, so it's my elastic is sewn in and it's gathered the bottom of it up. So you just want to put it, oh, you just want to put your shoe into it like so, and just put it. like that. Obviously if you neaten all of the edges first before you do the elastic you'll know how much space to leave the elastic but I'd always give more seam allowance at the bottom so that there's more space for the elastic to move and stretch and so that it doesn't rise up. And you also want to neaten the edges of your straps by just turning them in so you can turn them in twice because this is material that frays really easily but I would say um, you could use any sort of material to make this stretchy material is probably the best but it really doesn't matter any material that you like that has a nice print anything so yeah that's basically how you make it and then you just tie the straps up like that so yeah hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions or any requests or anything please put it down in the comments and thanks for watching bye